Hello everyone and welcome back to the channel and today we're starting again a new series saying what you can get on Auto Trader right now in the UK. So let's get into it, let's see what cars you can buy. Right, we have a budget of 500 quid. What can we get? 500 quid, what cars? We've got some Audis, what Audis do we have? These are all terrible. Honda, no, Jaguar, yes. Mmm, mmm, take that back. We have a Mitsubishi, What's, what do we have here? Wow, look at this, Colt. This is exactly what you want to buy. Um, I'm gonna come to the conclusion that everything under 500 quid at this moment in time is pretty dire. <laughs> yes, these are all terrible. So, let's let's increase our budget slightly. Have a budget of let's say a thousand pounds. Say a thousand. Look at how we have four thousand seven hundred cars. What can we buy for that? An Austin. And ah, no, no, thank you. I don't want an Austin Martra. That's quite nice. Here we go. We have this. We have another X type. We have some pretty decent looking X types for under a grand here. These aren't too shabby. You should definitely check these out if you have a budget and you want a Jag for less than a thousand pounds. What else can we get? I'm not bothered about Alphas because they'll all be terrible. Jeep? What's this Jeep? This is terrible. What Mazdas can we get? Oh, we can get an MX-5. Wow. This is a pretty tidy looking car. Oh, okay. Maybe... Maybe not so much with that rust down there. Looks like a new roof. It's done very few miles for a Mazda, but yeah, this is the thing that kills them down there. All that rust, so. If you want that car, so be it, but it's a bit rusty, so I'd be careful. Toyota's coming at a Celica, an MR2. What, MR2? Really? Um. Maybe not. Look at this, you can get a Starlet. I said in my previous video. A very underrated little car. So if you have a grand to spare, definitely check this out. It looks pretty nice. And these can be modded to look pretty sick, I'm not gonna lie. Even a Celica for less than a grand. Look at this. Who would have thought that you could get a Celica for less than a thousand pounds? Even a Celica GT for that matter, these are pretty good condition cars. Yes, they're a bit on the higher mileage side of things, but what do you expect for less than a thousand pounds? Yes, this is exactly what we want. Taxi. That's barely running, 150,000 miles, 250,000 miles. That's barely done anything, what's this? Anyway, let's carry on. What can we get for 3,000 pounds? Really? Wow, you can get an A8 Sport, that's pretty interesting. And so that's 15 grand, that's not bad value, this one here. Not pretty much the exact same car, it's four years newer, it's over double. And it has essentially the same thing. It has a bit more power, but that's pretty incredible. And I saw as well that there was a TT. Not too interesting, but an S4. Hmm. That doesn't look too bad. That's pretty, it's pretty nice. I, I appreciate that. Right, let's just continue. What is that? What's an Exum? Ah, yes. This is brilliant. It's a tow car. Or tow. What? I don't understand. Well, it's GTR. Hmm, there we go. I don't understand. I'm sorry, I apologise. Let's continue. Great Wall. Yes. Look at this. Brilliant. This is, this, these, these are just terrible. I'm sorry. For completely wasting your time. Let's see what we can get. Let's see what Nissans there are. Mm. Mm. These are all terrible. Sonny? Mm. That's acceptable, but still. Terrible. Right. Any other Japanese cars? Lexus. What can we get here? 
You can get a GS300. Not a bit of luxury, here you go. Quite nice, quite nice. I do appreciate a bit of that. Wow, what other Lexuses can we do? LS430. Now that is just a boat. Yeah, that's just a boat and a half, my days. And then the last one, we'll do an IS200. Wow, that's not bad. There's some decent IS200s available. And these are very heavily tuned, well, that you can. So definitely check one of these out if you're in the market for one. What other cars? A Porsche, really? Oh my days. You can get a Cayenne for £2,700. DM me. <laughs> that's, that's, well, well, these, I found nothing of any interest right now. These are all poorly. Mercedes Benz. No, don't want that. Uh, Subaru, here we go. Something interesting. An Outback. No, I want the Legacy. Now here, look at this. I like this. That's very nice. Subaru Legacy 2.5 GX Sports Tour, four-wheel drive, five-door. And again, with all these other Legacies, they look quite nice, to be fair. I do appreciate these. And then, last but not least, in today's video, we will have a look at the... Go on, Impreza. What is the... Wow, look at these. This is what you want. Look at that. That's big boot and everything. Fantastic look. I think it's these are what... These are... Well... I could say these are what you want, but you need to be careful with Zubros because, yeah, they are questionable in their reliability. They'll go forever if you keep on top of things. But I, I kind of like this one here. Whereas service history, 83,000 miles, that's pretty good. And it's in Chipping Norton. It's near Jeremy Clarkson. So yeah, it's pretty nice. So, that is all we have time for in today's video. If you enjoyed this, do press like and for every like I get another like if you um, want to subscribe if you enjoyed this again every new subscriber gets me on the way to 1000 by the end of the year and for some reason as soon as I put up a video saying I had 500 subscribers someone unsubscribed which wasn't funny I didn't appreciate that but anyway thank you so much for watching it means the world to me but until the next video, I want to say thank you, and I'll see you then, and goodbye.